Hello, my friends. Yes, I posted that. I'm putting this in front of me because we were celebrating my day. It's Sunday evening. I will be posting this probably tomorrow after I come back from work. So uh, around maybe four or five o'clock my time, if I'm lucky. But I will do it today. Um, I need Tracy to help me because it's a new device that I'm using. And uh, I tried the previous video, but I, pos I was using the microphone and it didn't work. Yes, I have to face today that I'm getting older, not younger. I have to <laughs> admit to myself, even I'm a fighter, so I'm fighting to not letting myself down. Okay, I have a, um, I'm answering the uh, questions from the people who sent me uh, them all over the comment section. Thank you so much everyone for your wonderful comments, for your com wishes on my birthday and for some donation and some nice comments. So I will start with Angel Guide. That's the questionnaire. You mentioned it. You were born in 8 of 8 August, known as Lion's Gate. Did that play a role in your psychic abilities? I thought, well, how could to answer that question? I, but when I closed my eyes, I saw a target, symbol of targeting. Maybe that was somehow a reason that I got those uh, abilities. Who knows? But maybe I was a target from the above, and they let me to. They are communicating with me. They know how to point towards me and let me to have the picture in front of my forehead when I close my eyes. It's a big mystery for me as well. So the Lion Gates is tonight and on August 8th and I'm posting this. I thought that I would be able to post but Tracy came in and she said we can't hit you are not able, they, they can't hear you, so, and she was running home, so she will come tomorrow after work, and I will be after work. The Lion Gate uh, portal is the opening of a window between the spiritual and physical world. Words. Why well, it takes place usually between, annually, from um, July 28 to August 12, the Lion Gates portal is considered uh, officially activated in August 8. So that's 8 of 8, which this year is more unusual because it's a new moon. And in that day, the Earth, Sun and Cyrus are aligned. So that that makes us all of people be more open for reaching the uh, to reach the, the the best connection with the universe. Please try it, and it's good for all the zodiac signs. In numerology, eight eight is like. Enigma, so it's uni uh, infinity, universe, and harmony. So harmony and uh, uh, uni uh, infinity universe. So that's great. P uh, I will start with questions and please send me questions so I have some material for the next video. And thank you in advance. Will Ma Marek Garland open a special Council investigating Trump and follow up on Miller's report. And the answer was a barrel. My drawing of a barrel. 
But the bow in to me, because it says that this is the mes message is always for me. In 1980s, when the Solidarity came to the power in Poland, and I'm from Poland, a lot of big CEOs was put on the barrels and drove out of the offices. One day it was like a huge movement and they were so corrupt and people were so upset with them that they moved them out on the barrels. So the symbol of barrel for me, it is that uh, that's what Mary Garland is working on and that will be symbol of cleaning up the, uh, this device might be working better because you can see the cards and you can see me and I can reach much easier than the other ones. So hopefully this will work with the voice. It's always something. <laughs> But I have to learn new new program, and tomorrow Tracy will write with me how to go step by step. So, will Mary, Mary Garland do the investigation? Or is he started already? He is already changing the corner. He is getting to the next level, probably. Yes, he will be there. He's a good leader that way. He's very cautious. He doesn't want to rush. He is very careful. And then he will be sharing with us all the knowledge. So we have to be patient. We have to understand what he's all about and give him chances. Sometimes I wish he would be more, much faster, but maybe that's the way the game is played. Teresa Simpson. Will Dixie fire in North California get under control soon? And it started July 13, now it's August 8, over a week when it's, uh, oh, not over a week. The symbol that I saw, it's a window. And those glasses are dark. This is still bright. So I don't know if that means that it's still under fire or is that much more that they, the fire can take. Not clear for me, or not always I have the clear picture because if it will be just that three quarters is already burned, that will mean that it's over a week that it will be done and over. If not, it will have to go back maybe three few weeks, three, three, four weeks. So, the firefighters will have to work as hard as possible. They will do <coughs> extremely good, will, will work hard. Angel of work and ex, uh, Angel of love will be guiding them but the damage will be horrific. So I think it is a few more weeks that it will take to, to calm this down completely. But we are just one quarter of that, excuse me, <coughs> of that devast devastating thing, the devastating fire. Marta. Would like to know about crown back in Australia. <coughs> I'm sorry. I always have some coffee. Weak coffee. You will never call this a coffee. It's so tiny amount of coffee. Marta would like to know about the crown back in Australia. Australian population is 25 million. And daily, they have about 262 on average cases. And right now, it's four and a half thousand people who are sick. It will go down soon. I saw the big going down, and it will go soon. It will be under control. 
I think about 60 or 70 percent people are vaccinated there. Oops. Yes, we have to avoid those places. People have to keep a distance, feel isolated, isolating. The secrets will come out and maybe after the one uh, more month and that will be symbol of month so maybe there will, when there will be a full moon it will be really un somehow under control symbol of doctor so that i think end of the month they might see the big difference that is going down i hope i'm correct but that's what i'm seeing tell me why is john munching going to Texas. What is he up to? And I saw the GOP suitcase with money. So he is going there to get kind of black money to me because he is showing that he is going working for, for opposite party. He's Democrat and he is going to have donations from Republicans. So why is he allowed to do that? And you know, in Texas, they have oil field and gas, big kahunas who are paying him probably to do what they want him to do. He is paid. He knows that he shouldn't be taking those money. And he doesn't want to, to work for, for the Democratic partners. He wants to kind of slow down. But he wants to fulfill his dreams, his achievements. So, you know, it's not that we can be happy. You can be happy about that, but that's the rules that they created that people want to hype places they can take money for, for elections and they can somehow put some in the back pocket. Christine R. How the crown back is affecting the Taliban? And it's not high over there. The population is about 38 million, I feel, three, uh, 38 million. And uh, they have most of the people, 45% is age, 46% is age 15 and under. So they are children. And it looks like that they don't have, a, they had a month ago big spike, but right now it's getting on lower levels, so they are controlling it. In Afghanistan, most people are living in a hard environment, so they are more resistant to, to any, they are stronger that way, because the only, the survivors who survive, like 45, 46% younger generation, very young kids. That means that the most older people were, didn't survive. So that the younger one are stronger. It was not affecting the young kids before. And uh, I was actually thinking maybe because the women are wearing the, always the fabric over the face. And I was checking the, and uh, googling the, the outfits for Afghans, and then I was so impressed with women's outfits. It's unbelievable how beautiful those outfits are for women. It was on Etsy and Amazon. So intricate, like so much detail, so much jewelry involved in those outfits. We will see how they will survive the Taliban because the country is in chaos and we have to pray for them that they will be able to be on the right path eventually. 
the culture was beautiful that the cost you know the folklore costumes were really nice so what would be the outcome of Potalba? The women will be still producing a lot of children. The safety is more um, for the women, and they are wearing the and the babies. So no matter what, they will be reproducing themselves and creating the new generations. Scott Allen. We had bad tornadoes in Philadelphia area in Pennsylvania. Do you see more? And I saw a ping pong and it was one, two, three. So I don't know if it is the big one was already and maybe two smaller ones were hit. But everywhere we can expect tornadoes. We didn't have so far in Alberta yet. I'm so happy. But you have to watch over it. it is what we, we as humans are doing to the mother nature and it's destructive, destructive family. There might be two more. And they were hidden places that have a woman's name. That's my presume. Maria Rodriguez, and I had yesterday Lena Rodriguez from Australia, but Maria Rodriguez is asking, will we see end of the pandemic? She wants to travel but is afraid. Yeah, I would advise you to travel somewhere where there is not that much big population, so you are not exposed to many sick people. And eventually it will slow down, so maybe in a few months you can travel. But maybe right now when it's going crazy. Keep have a fun, but not all. And you know that this is irresponsible fun. So have a fun with the butterflies, but don't let any cow to jump over your head. You have to wait. That's the the, the name of the game. We all have to be patient because so many are still so many people are departure they are leaving this even it's not as bad you know comparing how it was a year ago but it's still people are vulnerable so we want to pray for everyone and put the cards away and I'm sorry I want to pray for safety and security. I want the American soldiers come safe out of Afghanistan and hopefully the peace will start living in that country that somehow will be, I know that not true, that there will be still chaos, but we have to pray for, for good outcome of that situation. And we want to pray for, for Mother Earth to be nice to us so we don't have fires, we don't have floods, we don't have earthquakes and all the drama that is we are exposed to and no more any crown bugs. So please think positive, stay positive. Today is the new moon so they ask for, for something good to, to, to happen renew your blessings and see you next time thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and thank you for, for letting me to be with you for the last four years thank you bye bye and keep your fingers crossed that this time I was able to po will be able to post <laughs>